So I got a call uh, about a, a beetle that's sitting somewhere. And so I'm off here checking it out. And uh, it should be a fairly interesting one because I'm being told that it is a 1943 Volkswagen, which is pretty damn early. And here we are in the rain where there happens to be this little black beetle underneath the tarp, crying for a little help. Well, I'm seeing 16 inch rims. That's a real good start. Oh yeah, look at that pressing there. That's early stuff. Got the split rear window. Hmm. Some interesting welding going on there. Dimpled fenders though. Holy crap. Let me get the cover off of this thing and see what we've really got. So it's kind of hard to see really what the hell this thing is. I mean, out here in the rain. And we've got the split dash. That's a really good start. I'm seeing some green bumpers down here. Or actually, no, those are smooth bumpers. That's like really early. Those could be reproduction. I'm seeing all sorts of early parts. And here, what do we have here? Hmm. KDF ashtray. Here's some speedometer pieces. There's a bunch of parts here. Wow, killer. that's had some work done to it. There's that early gas tank though. Little triangle spare tire mount. Definitely a bit of a Frankenstein. Lots of welds going on here. Early hood though. It's got that triangle and the three bolts. Very, very interesting. Kind of hard to see, but that's definitely not a split case trans. Some boxes of parts though. There you go, a little KDF logo. Got some banana bumper guards. Lots of treasures. Wow. I'm looking real close here on this post. Looks like it definitely had semaphores at one point but they've been kind of welded shut. There'd be no other reason for having marks here. But looking at the distance here, that, I'm not sure if that's that early. Some of the early cars had a much smaller semaphore piece. What is this thing? Now I found a headlight in that box. It's got the fluted lens. It's got the little cogwheel logo on there. This thing's looking really new, like it's a reproduction or something. Hmm. Here's another little box with some treasures. Check out that early light. Ooh. But is it real? Or is it repop? Back to light, no face. Here's some other piece in here. Cool early horn. Wild, wild bunch of stuff. The craziest part is that it's just sitting out here under a tarp in the rain. What the hell? Whatever this thing is, it desperately needs rescuing. The guy's gonna be here in just a minute and hopefully we can work something out and I can bring this back to the lab, find out exactly what it is and give it a good home. 
Anyway, so the guy with the car shows up and we have a good conversation. And I point out some things to him that are obviously correct and possibly incorrect on this car. And it's obvious to me that he's not super connected to it. He doesn't know what this car is. And in probing further, I realized that he has gotten this car through a business transaction of some sort. Uh, and it's just an asset that he wants to liquidate. This is all starting to mash together in my head a little bit because I've heard of this car before. And there's not a lot of these things that are floating around, especially here in the U.S. So it's a pretty small world. So as I left there, I, I knew I needed to make a couple calls. The last blip on the radar that I'd heard of this car was from a gentleman out in the area that I thought was in the process of restoring it. So I first reached out to him and said, hey, somebody here just contacted me about this car. Is this, you know, did you sell it? What's the deal? Well, apparently that set off a little bit of an alarm in his head, and I'm not going to go into details, but I will say that there seems to be some debate as to who the actual owner of the automobile is. So right there, I'm hitting the brakes hard, right? I am not going to touch a car that is has a questionable ownership. So I urge both parties to figure out who really owns the car and then get back to me on it uh, so that we can do something proper with it. And that story has a lot of weird skeletons and dark stuff going on. Who knows what's going on? And I'm not going to go into detail because honestly, I really don't know what's right, what's wrong. But I did notice in that paperwork this other name of somebody that I know very well. And so I gave him a call to ask him about the car itself. What does he know about the history of it? Well, he had owned it about 12, 14 years ago, I think. And he had bought it from a collector who had bought it from another collector, and it had traded hands several times. But he tracked it back to one particular guy that was really, really well known in the VW scene, who, who filled him in on as many details as, as he could. So the car was apparently brought over to the U.S. at some point, um, maybe by a U.S. serviceman or whatever, and it was involved in a really horrific accident. In fact, I think somebody may have even died in this car. Now, the car was put back together, kind of, and then possibly repaired again. And, and well, it's still sitting here in pieces. And it's obvious looking at it in detail. There's several replacement panels that have been made or, or you know, put in there. Uh, there's some question as to whether the chassis has been replaced at some point. Uh, the transmission was definitely incorrect for the era. Uh, the front end was incorrect for the era, but I understand that the original one exists somewhere. Uh, digging through the parts, there's a phenomenal bunch of really awesome early parts, rare, rare stuff. Uh, the data tag is there. There is a pink slip for the car. Everything's pointing towards it being in 1943, but what's unknown at this point is exactly how much of it is 1943 and how much is pieces of other stuff. But in any case, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with the car at this point. They need to figure out who's the legal owner of it before it can be sold or before it can be restored. So I'm going to follow up on that and hope that I can help them in some way with it or that the, can car, the car can come this way uh, and I can investigate it further. But it was indeed a very, very early split beetle that I had a chance to see sitting in the rain in somebody's yard here in California. And that is something I'm never going to forget. And the twisted tail behind it, if I told you the details of everything, you wouldn't freaking believe it. And I don't believe half of myself. But I will keep you guys posted if this car surfaces again. Uh, hopefully we can bring it to light and share it with everybody. But I hope you enjoyed the little video of my discovery of it and the little history of it that I know. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe. Always on the hunt for new machines and looking forward to sharing them with you guys. Bye-bye.